I had a stack unit laundry at my rental house, a 24 inch wide model, break down on me. It was about 20 years old. So I decided to reposition the cabinets and install these two full size washer and dryer. A big improvement, much more practical. So this is a quick show of the change. Okay, we have got the old stack washer dryer out of here. It was one of those narrow apartment 24 inch wide Frigidaires. And we are ditching that and installing a washer and dryer. So I uh, have a little bit of figuring out to do. The drain is here and the sink has to move over a bit. So yeah, I'll have to look at that. But anyway, um, got a little stuff to do here. There's the drain for the sink, so we have to figure that out. All right. Okay, and that is the good old 24-inch wide fridge there, and we are saying goodbye to that forever. <laughs> You will give it a good home, right? Well, that's it. I said, you will give it a good home, right? It might be recycled into a Chevrolet. There you go. <laughs> These are the new Maytag wash machines. There's the dryer. That one's the washer. But I can't quite put them in place yet because I still have to move the sink from here over to there then have to re-drill this dryer vent over there for the dryer relocate that pipe then um, relocate that ground fill outlet over to here and the wash machine power over to there so a little bit more work to do and then patch up the hole there then another little thing I've had to do is someone who used to live here worked for Red Bull. So there were like four cases of Red Bull from about 2014-2015 that uh, had been sitting here for all this time and I didn't know about it. So anyway, I found those and now I am dumping them out and crushing them, taking them down to the recycler. Okay, so that is kind of the update and then also I climbed back here cleaned everything out got rid of the mattress and all that kind of stuff so i've still got some work to do back here but it's coming along slowly but surely okay there you go finally it's 11 30. it's been about a 12 hour 14 hour day but i've got the washer dryer is installed. I moved the wall cabinet over. The sink is just going to have to be abandoned because there's just not enough room. However, there is a chance that I could run a drain over from there to the sink and hoses from the valves and make the sink active again but the downside is that it's right in front of the electrical panel so anyway i got the extra extra strong high flow hoses they're supposedly 10 times more burst resistant than any other hose we'll see and things got in here nice and plumb tight fitting and the cabinet will work out okay I just happen to have this piece of plywood for a top and there's the old sink in there so it'll make a nice folding table anyway and uh, it's a good place to store the sink until I figure out what I want to do there's the floor drain got to untape that And this here is 
the dryer vent. So everything was working very nicely. Had to extend the drain hose for the washer because it wasn't long enough. They just keep making them shorter and shorter. And then okay, I don't like that. Smack. Okay, so we are done finally. Wall that needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're done.